Auburn leading 23 to 22. He's the last time Shula went deep, it was intercepted on first down. Van Tiffin is the man. If they can get it within his range, he has kicked a 42-yarder today. He has missed wide left from 52 yards with the wind. They've got Jelks out. Shula back to throw. Pretty good protection. Passes away. Almost intercepted. Intended for Thornton Chandler, the tight end, but there were more blue shirts around the ball, and Chandler was off balance and probably would not have caught it under any circumstances. And Auburn, there's your time remaining. Auburn has the decision to make. On this part of the field, you don't change the philosophy. Stay in his own defense. Don't play the victory defense. At this time, Mike Shuler's too good. Deepen your linebackers. Make them catch everything inside and in front of your linebackers if you can. Second down and 10 from the 20. You gotta look for Al Bell. He's drawing double coverage. Down the middle goes Bell. Schuler running for his life. Drops away from one. Can't get away from all of them. They suck him back on the 12. Pat Thomas and Harold Holman. Kelvin Porter, number three, has been the hero of this fourth quarter. Intercepting. Mike Shula before and covering Al Bell man to man to where Shula had nowhere to throw the ball. Alabama has called the timeout. It is third down at their own 12. They've got to go to the 30 to get a first down. 37 seconds to play. They trail by one. Auburn's defense playing deep center field. Shula's pass lofted to Jelks. Jelks on the run to the sideline. Kills the clock. That was a pretty good catch by that freshman running back. 29 seconds to play. And the ball comes out now to the 26. It'll be fourth down and four. Little twist by the uh, Auburn defense right there. Trying to get some pressure. And Shula floats the ball perfectly. As he steps up, he lays it out, lets Delks run 100. He doesn't break his stride and gets on out of bounds. Fourth and four. This is it for Alabama. Double reverse, Al Bell coming around the corner, has the first down. Shula threw a heck of a block for him, and Bell's out of bounds at the Alabama 46-yard line with 21 seconds to play. The quarterback on the reverse, number 11, has to make the key block. He gets outside the contained man. Now he's to block him. He can't clip him. He's got to wait for him to turn. He uses great judgment. As, uh, I can't see the number, 95, maybe Robinson or Brooke, I couldn't see. Now Bell goes down the field, similar to what Penn State did to Alabama team, run that reverse play. They've got a first down at their 46. If they get down around the Auburn 40, Van Tiffin's got a shot at it. No pressure on Shula, zips it, and it is incomplete. The pass intended for Greg Richardson. 15 seconds to play. Powell, Tom Powell, the safety, has six interceptions, and here's a good reason why. He's a senior, confident. He breaks up on this ball. He watch him come all the way up in front of him right there, and it could have been interference by Bivens, number six, coming from behind. This is a close call. Second down and 10. Again, I'll say to you, they've got to get to the Auburn 40. For field goal tip. They have no timeouts remaining. Yes, they've got to be around the 40 for Van Tippen to have a decent shot at it. They've got to go to the sidelines. They have no timeouts. If he throws it down the middle, it won't help a lot. Richardson's got it. He's got to get out of bounds, and he does at the 35. And six seconds to play in the ball game. And here comes Van Tippen. With he, six seconds, he's in the game. My heart won't stand it. <laughs> I'm, I'm he kidding. missed a 52-yarder earlier, wide left, with the win. This is 52 yards into the breeze. Not strong, but there's some. The kick is up. Long enough. It's long enough, and it's good. He made it.
again your final score. Alabama 25, Auburn 23. They don't get any better than this one.